I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to a few sisters out there as well. It's Brother Aviyah coming at you with a quick cut. Deuteronomy 22 and 5, and it says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. Okay? And that's what we're seeing out here, man, a lot. Um, Bear with me. So I came across this. This is a Juju, Juju uh, Smith Schulster from Kansas City. The Chiefs, he's a wide receiver. I believe he played with uh, Pittsburgh before he played there with Kansas City. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not here to talk about that, of course. But this is what this man chose to wear uh, to the Super Bowl here, man. Okay? And uh, you see it. You see the skirt there uh, with the with the handbag, you know, which we're seeing a lot more men wearing these handbags as well, man. They call them uh, satchels or, or, or man's pocketbook or whatever, but it's, it's effeminate, man. Okay, this is not manly at all, man. And we're seeing it more and more. And his counterpart over here did the same thing. Fletcher Cox. This is the um, the picture that's, that all the brothers I see is putting up. But this is the full pic right here, what he wore. Because they showed it from like the chest up, what he was wearing. Right? But this is the full outfit here, man. He got the, the, the silvery uh, lavender suit on, man. With the little midget uh, book bag and the blouse, man. The blouse is what really is ridiculous, man. You got men out here wearing blouses, man. Men out here really, you know, dressing like women. It's, it's, it's going back to how it was like in the 80s, man, during that uh, androgynous era, um, era. You know, with Prince and all that and <laughs> Mickey B. Free or whatever his name was, you know. Shalimar. You know, and all these dudes in the 80s, man. And they, they trying to push that androgynous thing, man. This dude has a, a full-on blouse on, man. You know? And, uh, you know, Jake is uh, getting more and more effeminate out here, man. This is one of the many reasons why uh, this place needs to be uh, destroyed, man. We we need a reset, man. We need uh, Yahweh Shai to come back quick, man. Because this is getting ridiculous now, man. And also, it's getting redundant at the same time, man. Really getting tired of uh, of seeing that, man. All right, one more for you. You see this dude here, man. That says it all right there. You see the bag right there? He got the <laughs> he got the high heels on. He got the... Oh, man. Let me just get off of that because I don't want to look at that. That's crazy. But you see what he had on, man. You know? It's, it's ridiculous. All right, well, no, Grandma. I didn't get it. I can't believe it myself. I know. I'm so numb. I just hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Man, you know, and this is another one here with uh, Bobby Schmurter, you know, with the uh, Rainbow Bright Care Bears uh, jacket on, man. You know, this is this is something that they pushing on our people hard, man. You know, the two-thirds are going to fall for these things, man. But... You know, I really wanted to get into why, you know, this is happening, you know, because it's a, it's like to me, it's a feminist movement. Right. You know, men will gravitate and, and do things that they know women uh, will like and respond to. Right. Now, a lot of women out there are pushing that they like an effeminate man, you know, for the most part. You know, there, there are a lot of women out there that don't like that. But for the most part, there are a lot of women that like a more effeminate man, you know, to shave his face and, you know, dress a more effeminate and wear like pinks, hot pinks and all that. Women really love that, you know? So that's the reason why I say it's more of an uh, effeminate, uh, a feminist uh, movement is to put the man on the bottom and the woman on top, you know? And that's why I believe a lot of these, and it's also, you know, Esau's plot, of course, but it's overall of the Heavenly Father, right? Because he's reserving them for destruction at the end of the day.
But this is something that I feel like uh, the, the serpent and Eve has come together to do, man. Because you only see Jake's doing this, man. You don't really see a lot of Edomites doing this. They probably do it. Of course, they do it behind closed doors and all that. But they always try to push Jake to the for to the forefront, man. You know? So this is more like an, uh, a feminist uh, uh, agenda, man. And this is why a lot of these Jakes wear these things, man. You know? For women, because women like it. But uh, let me uh, get into some scriptures here. Let's get uh let's get Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs 14, 12 through 18 here. And it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, right? So these men think this is cool. They seeing that women love it, they responding to it. You know, they out in the clubs and they got women around them, or, or women, you know, giving them compliments, you know, tell them how that that uh that that pink look good on them, you know, it brings out the color of their eyes or whatever. <laughs> you know, when men are really out here thinking that this is the move, man. And it's really not, man. You know, it's really getting back to the 80s in that uh androgynous era era, man. And it's it's ridiculous, man. But I just read to you uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, man. You know, a man should not wear that which pertains to a woman, man. Okay? But the, these these are the things that men are out here doing. And these are the ways of death, man. Even though there are many ways of death, this is one way of certain death, man. It says, either in laughter, the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. Right? It says, the backslider and heart should be filled with its own ways. And a good man shall be satisfied from himself. It says the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Right? So we have the knowledge. We know what's going on. We know why this agenda is being pushed out man we know why it's being pushed on the masses okay and a lot of these men are you know real are, are prideful man you know a lot of these men are um out here trying to be pretty boys man at the end of the day and that's not the move man you know it's better to not shave your beard off or line or line your beard up and all that and you know try to look all pretty and shit man you know you know, GMS, I love I love the brothers in GMS, man. We we you know we look like a, a, a bunch of you know barbarians out here, man. You know? We ain't worried about, you know, trying to look pretty or trying to do things that's gonna attract women and all that, man. Because for the most part, women don't like a man that don't shape his beard up or, you know, don't uh, you know, chop it all the way down damn near, you know? They don't like a man with a full with a full beard, man. You know, but in this day here, uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, when this day comes, you know, and it says, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. All right. And these men that I just showed, those are not the men that's going to be taken, uh, taken hold of by, by, you know, seven women, so to speak, man. Women are not going to be out there looking for a, a feminine man like that. You know, women are going to be looking for men that are strong. You know, when, uh, men that can uh, endure what's going on around them, man. And they're going to see that the men of the Lord are, 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 you know, going to be able to easily deal with, you know, everything that's that's out here, that's coming. All the evils that's coming. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is going to have him under their wings, man. Under his, under his wings of protection, rather. You know? And a lot of these men that I just showed that are like this, that are on this feminine shit because... Man, I believe like 95% of men out here are, are on that feminine shit. You know, a lot of them going to have heart attacks. A lot of them going to be killed. A lot of them are going to be overpowered, man. You know, and we know that there's going to be a real shortage of men. And in this day, when this day comes, you know, only the strong will survive, man. And the men of the Lord are the ones that are going to survive. And these are the men that the women are going to be flocking to in that day. And then they'll have a better understanding you know, as to why, you know, men being uh, effeminate, 
was is not the move, man. Okay? Because the men that they're going to be flocking to are not going to be effeminate, you know, wearing skirts and stockings and, and uh, you know, handbags and blouses, man. Okay? You're not these women are not going to be running to men like that or like this. You know, and I'm hearing rumblings that Bobby Schmurter is in the, is coming out too, man. He's probably doing a lot of uh, you know, funny things while he was locked up, man. You know? But let me get back to the scriptures, man. Let me get uh Let me get Ecclesiastes. I'm going to make this quick. 7 and 26. And it says, And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands is bands. Whoso pleases the Most High shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. You know? And that's what I was going into earlier, man, how, how women are really uh, uh, pushing this, man. You see a lot of, uh, especially Judite women, really accept, uh, you know, gay uh, gay men. You know, they they really do accept that, man. You know, they um. You know, they put they push for men to be like that, man. You always see themselves or surrounding themselves with at least one or two gay gay motherfuckers, man. You know, these women are wicked out here, man. You know, and these wicked these wicked women also try to tell men that oh, that's the way you should dress. You should put a a blouse on, right? Because at the end of the day, we know women want to be men. Women want to be on top. Women want to be the ones in control and in rule. You know, the women want to be, you know, the one on the throne, so to speak. They want to be the ones that call the shots. That's why I said I feel like it's a, a, a feminist um, tactic, you know, a, a tactic of feminism, you know, to make these men think that it's OK to do this. Meanwhile. This man is definitely um, losing some of his masculinity by doing so. And women know that, man. You know? Wearing all this lavender and pink and that's not manly, man. Those are not manly colors either. You know? Let me get a... Uh, let's get first address. Chapter 4. I'm almost done. First address, chapter 4, 26... 27 it says yea there be yea many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes many also have perished and erred and sinned for women and a lot of these men are, are going out of their wits just to please these women man you know and some of them probably you know in the closet too doing you know other things but for the most part you know women are, are celebrating this as men you know, because they always talk about, I like a man that um, knows how to um, tap into his feminine side. And that's bullshit because a man don't have a feminine side. A real man does not have a feminine side at all, man. Okay? A man is supposed to be all masculine all day, every day. No type of femininity should be in a man at all. You know? And these are things that women preach because that's what they want. They want a feminine man at the end of the day. Right? Right? But going back to Isaiah 4 and 1, in that day, they ain't going to want no feminine man because a feminine man is not going to be able to protect them, man. Okay, so they're going to find out real fast that all this bullshit they've been preaching is not what it is, man. It's not going to work when all hell breaks loose. All right. Let me get uh, first Maccabees real quick, man. And uh, should be done there. First Maccabees. What is that? 2 and uh, 64. And it says, Wherefore ye, my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. Okay? And that's what we are, man. We're valiant men. You know, we stand up to things like this. We don't go along to get along. If we, if we see something that's out of order, we're going to speak on it, whether people like it or not. We don't give a shit. Okay? We just give it to you raw, okay? So men out there that's dressing like that, you were feminine at the end of the day. And the Heavenly Father's looking down down on you, man, you know, with disgust. And we look at you with disgust as well, you know, because you women are out here trying to appease. Uh, I mean, you men are out here trying to uh, appease women and appease uh, Esau Edom, 
you know? But you're not out here trying to appease the Heavenly Father and do things that are that are to his liking, you know? And this shit looks straight up gay, man. This looks gay, man. This dude too, man. I, I put him in my lesson yesterday. It's ridiculous. It's getting real crazy out here, man. You know? This man you thought it was masculine. I thought he was a masculine dude. Now you, you see him. Look at, I mean, shit. He picking up three, four hundred pound dudes and slamming them. And he out there in a, a damn cheerleader skirt with some stockings and some high heels, man. This shit is getting out of hand, man. It's definitely getting out of hand. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to bring this out, man. This shit needs to stop. And Lord willing, your Howard Shai comes fast, man. So we don't have to see things like this no more. We don't have to see uh, Israelite men in this light anymore because it's really starting to get sickening, man. You know, it really is. And it's, it's, it's a little too much. You know, this place definitely needs to burn, man. So, uh, it's your brother RBR. I just want to say Shalom to the next one. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Shalom.